Many of you have been asking me, oh, I want to move to Australia, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford it, or I'm worried about rent prices, the housing crisis, or what should I do? So in this video, we're going to talk about the most affordable capital cities in Australia, drawing on housing, food, and transport costs. And hopefully this will give you a better perspective to explore different alternatives across Australia. Another thing that I want to clarify is that in this video, we're going to use the city of Sydney as a reference, considering that today, Sydney is the most expensive Australian city. So with all that said, let's get started. Now, number one in the list is Hobart. Hobart is today Australia's cheapest capital city to live in. As way of overview, Hobart is located on the southeast coast of Tasmania and is Australia's second oldest city after Sydney. And what makes Hobart unique, in my opinion, is its beautiful landscapes full of nature, mountains and views, especially from Mount Wellington. And of course, another thing that makes this beautiful city very special is its unique art scene with the Mona Museum. It must see if you go visit. It's, I think, the most bizarre place that I've been to, but so, so cool. And of course, Hobart and Tasmania as a whole, overall, they're very well known for its food and wineries. Yeah, I, I do think that it adds to the quality of living in this in this city and this region. Now let's talk about housing costs in Hobart. And to give you a reference as way of comparison, according to the most recent data published by Finder, Sydney is 52% more expensive than Hobart when it comes to housing costs. The median weekly rent in Hobart for a house is $580 Australian dollars per week and $522 per week for a unit or apartment. And the median price for buying is currently at $841,500. Now, when it comes to transport, Howard has been found to be 57% cheaper than Sydney. Again, the difference is significant. And as way of reference, a monthly public transport ticket in Howard will cost you roughly 86 Australian dollars. And for food and grocery costs, Howard is consistent with other Australian cities, so there's no big difference here. Now, if you want a more detailed breakdown about cost of living across Australia and national averages, I highly recommend watching this video here. I have a full dedicated video to cost of living. Now, the second cheapest Australian city is Adelaide, coming closely after Hobart in terms of affordability. Now, as way of overview again, Adelaide is the capital city of South Australia and is most well known for its festivals, art scene and world-class wineries nearby. The city of Adelaide, in my opinion, is very beautiful, full of green, lots of parks around and historical buildings, which really surprised me when I first visited this city. And and something that I noticed as well is that it's a very, very quiet city. You don't really see many people walking around, even during weekdays. We were there and it was pretty quiet. So if you're looking for a very chilled kind of lifestyle, Adelaide perhaps is the alternative for you. Now, in terms of housing costs, to give you an idea, Sydney is 48.51% more expensive than Adelaide. And across Australia, Adelaide is the cheapest city for housing. Although this report notes that it has some of the the highest utilities, internet and household goods costs in the country. Now, the median weekly rent in Adelaide for a house is $570 per week and $520 per week for a unit or an apartment. So as you can see, there's not really much difference between renting a house or renting a unit or apartment in Adelaide. From what I've seen though, in the city of Adelaide, you mainly find high-rise buildings. Now, if you're considering buying a house in Adelaide, the median price is $900,000 Australian dollars. So basically almost reaching one million living which yeah it's insane and I say it's insane because this is still one of the most affordable cities in Australia but house prices there are almost yeah borderline the million so yeah it's interesting now in terms of transport costs Adelaide is 48% cheaper than Sydney so again it's almost half the price a public transport ticket in Adelaide will cost you roughly 103 Australian dollars per month and when it comes to grocery costs Adelaide seems to be consistent again with all Australian cities so yeah there you have it this is Adelaide now the third capital city in our list is Darwin now as way of overview Darwin is is the capital city of Northern Territory. 
Darwin is most well known for its rich indigenous culture and history, as well as its outdoor lifestyle adventure activities. And as way of reference, Darwin's cost of living when it comes to housing is 50% less than Sydney's. And when it comes to renting, you can expect to pay between 500 to 600 Australian dollars per week for a place in Darwin. And for buying, the median price is 415,000 Australian dollars. Having said that, data is not super consistent. And when I sold these figures, I actually did a bit of research to make sure that these figures uh, really, really matched. And yeah, indeed, there are some apartments that go for, three bedroom apartments that go for $1 million, which is insane. And other two bedroom apartments perhaps are going for 400,000. So everything depends, but the median price from what I've found is above 415,000 Australian dollars. Now, Darwin is the cheapest major city for transport, so much so that it's 68% cheaper than Sydney. And again, as way of reference, a monthly public transport ticket in Darwin will cost you around 63 Australian dollars. Now, when it comes to food and groceries, again, prices in Darwin are consistent with other Australian cities and uh, major states. So what I found in reality is that the most expensive city for food and groceries is actually Canberra. But then national averages in terms of grocery costs are pretty consistent across the whole country. And again, if you want a detailed breakdown of those costs, I have a dedicated video about that. Now, followed by Darwin is Perth. Perth is number four in our list. As way of overview, again, Perth is the capital city of Western Australia. Perth is most well known for its white sand beaches, beautiful coastline, sunshine almost all year round, unique wildlife like quokkas in Rottnest Island, as well as its rich Aboriginal history. Now, in terms of housing, as way of reference as well, Sydney is 45% more expensive than Perth when it comes to housing costs. Now, the median weekly rent in Perth for a house is 742 Australian dollars per week. And for a unit or an apartment is 550 per week. Now, if you want to buy a house in Perth, the median price is $855,000 for a house. And for an apartment, you can expect to pay about $425,000. Now, in terms of transport costs, Perth is 20% cheaper than Sydney. And to give you an idea, again, a public transport ticket in Perth will cost you roughly 160 Australian dollars per month. Now, just a few more interesting facts from this analysis to give you a nice comparison between cities in terms of affordability. As we said, Sydney is the most expensive Australian capital city overall. And to give you an idea again, it's 22% more expensive than Melbourne, 25% more expensive than Perth, 1% more expensive than Brisbane. So Brisbane is almost there. 49% more expensive than Adelaide, 21% more expensive than Hobart, 41% more than Darwin, and 13% more than Canberra. So interestingly enough, Brisbane is almost reaching the level in terms of cost of living as um, Sydney, which is uh, fascinating, especially because I, I feel that this is a COVID effect. So this happened after the pandemic, but yeah, perhaps I'm wrong. So um, leave a comment below if you have more information about that. Now, Canberra, which is Australia's capital city, is the most expensive one, as I said, when it comes to food and grocery costs. And to give you an idea, Canberra is 8% more expensive than Melbourne and 26% more expensive than Darwin, just as way of reference. But the overall price difference across cities, again, it's minimal. And another surprising thing about Canberra is that today this city is the most expensive city for renting just after Sydney. And based on my research, it seems that this is the case because there's not enough supply of rental properties in Canberra. So in summary, Hobart and Adelaide are the most affordable capital cities in Australia, with Hobart being slightly cheaper than Adelaide. And something that I want to say again is that in this summary, in this breakdown of the most affordable cities, what we are considering is the cost of housing and essential goods and services. But what we're not considering is the cost of extras, such as paying for your kids' schools and university fees, going to the hairdresser, recreational activities, etc. Now, having said that, I suspect that the price differences across these services and goods is going to be minimal again across Australian cities. And speaking of university fees and education, if you want to know more about the education system in Australia or what it is like to live in Australia or in other Australian cities, I highly recommend watching these videos here and here. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to keep supporting the channel so I can bring in more content for you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.